A Southeast Iowa school district received a threat toward its high school campus last week. KTVO's John Redfield spoke with district leaders about their procedure to ensure the safety of staff and students in these situations. Van Buren County High School faced a concerning situation when a student issued a threat last Wednesday. The district went on a soft lockdown to secure the premises and investigate the threat. I spoke with Van Buren County Superintendent Jeremy Hism about the criteria for involving law enforcement in such circumstances. Typically, we kind of err on the side of involving law enforcement, uh, but uh, occasionally there might be, you know, depending upon the severity of the threat, uh, depending upon the age level of the student. Uh, depending upon other factors uh, that are at play uh, that our team knows about. But we're always going to err on the side of safety and uh, probably involve law enforcement. While every threat made to a school is treated with the utmost seriousness, when the threat originates from a student, various factors influence disciplinary actions, determining whether the student is sent home or allowed to remain in school. I think most importantly, the message that I try to send to our team is that you know, in those types of situations, always get two or three opinions before you make a decision. So, for example, if if our counselor has is talking to a kid and, and there's a threat, well, obviously there's confidentiality with that. However, it's school safety trumps confidentiality. So they need to report that to the principal. And, and so now the principal and the counselor can have that conversation. Hism highlights that one of the challenges encountered during the situation was effectively communicating with parents. He issued an apology for any inconvenience caused and emphasized the importance of refraining from spreading false information about the incident as it could make matters worse.